I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is our most recent U3. We've done a ton of these over the years. Um, this was actually, the U3 was actually my, my piano that I used for a number of years as my gigging piano. I played professional jazz for a number of years and, and I kept a U3 in a trailer. So whenever I had a gig, just hook up the trailer and go play. Um, and yeah, I mean, I chose a U3 for, for good reason. It's a great piano. It sounds great. It projects well. It feels great. It's solid. Um, part of that also was my experience uh, with, uh, with the durability of the piano, knowing that it would, you know, be moved, uh, well, twice a weekend generally when I, when I played before my kids grew up. And I said, no more. I've got to spend time with my kids. I was gigging um, like every Friday and Saturday night. And so that piano was just getting moved like crazy all over the place. And, um, and I mean, no, no surprise. It, it just, it just never had any issues because it's a Yamaha U3. And I, I mean, I knew that would be the case I, at that point. That was like 10 years ago that I stopped doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah, up, up to that point, even, even 10 years ago, um, I'd had so much experience with these U3s that uh and their durability that um that i knew that that it would be the best choice you know for like complete package anyway uh yeah and 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 i've sold even even more of them probably i mean several hundred probably since since then and and my opinion of them has not changed in the least so uh obviously i think very highly of them um 52 inches tall is is a really good size it sounds uh, powerful it sounds big uh, the the action just feels really consistent and and kind of playing off of what I was saying about durability it's the the, the action stays stays regulated I just don't have issues with them just just very very rarely do I have do I have any issues with with the Yamaha u3 um, I don't know what else I can say about Yamaha u3s in general but uh, they're, they're just awesome Brand new, they're they're like fourteen thousand dollars or something like that, fourteen five, and this is you know a fraction of that. Um, but it's the goal in our in our rebuilding of this piano is to make it like brand new. So, I mean, is it is it totally fair to say that this is a brand new piano? Probably not, um, because it I mean it was it was originally manufactured in nineteen eighty, but um, but we're so good at, I state humbly, um, we're so good at, at refurbishing these pianos and making them function um, like new that, uh, that, that while, no, it's probably not fair to say that this is a brand new U3 um, for a fraction of the price. Um, it's frankly not that much of a stretch. Um, I, what I think an easy argument to make or claim to make is that the difference in price um, between this piano and a brand new one is far more than the than the tiny difference between a brand new U3 and you know where we're at. So I mean we go through everything to make it to make it like new, and while it's impossible to to make it absolutely brand new, um, we kind of can in 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 many instances, many uh, aspects of, of play, of, of sound, of touch, of tone, all of those kinds of things. Okay, so what I'm referring to, the reason I took that off, so I wanna show you. So of course we clean it, everything's really, really dirty when we take it apart. Clean everything thoroughly, we reshape hammers, we align things, we repin lots of parts in the action, everything, everything pivots on a little metal pin, like the hammers, they pivot on a pin, and the whippins, and all of those things, and wherever, wherever we have um, pinning issues that are outside of um, correct pinning friction will take care of that. We'll regulate everything uh, from regulating the level of the level of the keys to regulating the distance you can depress the key, regulating the blow distance, the the time that the the timing that the damper pulls away from the string. All of the dampers when they're when they're all engaged, you can see they all pull away at exactly the same time, which is what you want. Um, lots of different specs like that. Um, that, uh, that go into a properly functioning piano, and then uh, there's there's actually quite a bit more that we're doing to these pianos. But uh, I guess uh, 
gives you a pretty good idea of what we're doing. And then on the exterior, um, if you can see that in the light, that it looks virtually perfect. If very, very few, if any, uh, blemishes. Even and that's and that's part of the part of the polishing process of, of you know like uh, what what you may have seen um, people use like on cars where they'll have like a buffing wheel be buffing the hood of a car it's the same kind of thing where all of this all of this can be buffed and, and brought to this high this high polish again um, something that you'll see well here's a here's Yama this is an extreme case but. Uh, I mean, that, that was super abused um, cosmetically. But uh, most, um, you know, let's look at this piano over here. I, I didn't plan this before the video, but this was in an empty nester home. I took this piano in actually as a trade-in. So you can kind of get, yeah. So try and, try and get the camera in the light on top, here, on top of here. If you see a reflection in the light, you can see like little swirls all over the place. And um, I mean, overall, oh, it's dusty, but you can see like those little swirlies all over the place. And then let's see in here, same kind of thing. You can see the just the little little um, and and here like where paper goes, I think paper you can is see it best up here. okay. Well, so you get the idea. This this piano is was actually pretty well taken care of. So so frankly, it doesn't really matter how well you take care of a piano uh, with this with this high polish. It will over the over the years get these those scratches that I'm referring to. So polishing out, making it look perfect like this again is um, is a is a major part of I think the reason that um, the reason that we've been very successful selling these U trees. I think the other reasons we've been successful selling them over the years, um, and, and in some cases we just can't keep them in stock, frankly, um, is it's well, kind of like what I was saying about my gigging piano. It's just a complete package. Like it's super reasonably priced. It's big. It sounds great. It endures forever. They look great. Um, I could probably come up with a few other things, but um, you get the idea. Okay, let's cut to just playing it. to me yet another they're, they're so consistent they really are and I think that's actually kind of hats off to hats off to Yamaha um, they, uh, um, they're good at that anyway uh, come check it out uh, see what uh, see what you think you're welcome to welcome to play it and if you have more questions feel free to feel free to let me know um, yeah thanks for thanks for watching <laughs>